Jack, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm really inspired every time I ride my bike past your church, just looking at the roof and what you've done, making it uh, your church solar powered. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the money that, that, you've, that you save and actually that you're making from that? All right. our, our energy bills, uh, you know, on average throughout the year, because we have air conditioning in the summer, heating in the winter, uh, you know, our bills average $1,100 a month. And uh, that's just $1,100 out the window. Went to the power company here in Boulder, Colorado. But we put the solar in. With the deal that we have arranged, our expenses now per month average about $200 to $250 a month. So that's all, that's about $900 a month we're saving because we put solar on our church. Um, and really, Underneath all of this is the truth that we share with our congregation and our people. And that is, we're all part of this beautiful planet. And, you know, if you just have to be marginally awake to realize that we have to be more responsible with how we treat this planet that gives us life. And that's always been the underlying motive for the things we've done in Unity of Boulder. The underlying motive is, you know, we're all part of this great creation, you know, we have to be respectful of it. How can we best, you know, fit in here and work to help, you know, lower the carbon, carbon footprint and possibly, you know, have some small little impact on this global warming that's threatening, you know, future generations. Um, you know, I, I appeal to all of the religious community to look, you know, sit down with your board of directors and talk to your congregation and say, you know, whatever it is you believe about heaven, you know, and where it might be, uh, you still can think that while we're here, while we're all here on this planet, we should do the best that we can to make sure we're facilitating the harmony and the beauty that we can give to our children and our grandchildren in generations to come. That's always been, you know, the bottom line for us. And uh, we had to stretch. We had to stretch to get this project going. But once it started, people felt so good about it that it actually increased the regular tithes that we received. People are proud that they have been part of this solar project. So I can't say enough about it. Wherever you are in the religious community, just think about it. Just take a moment to talk to your congregation, talk to your board, and say, you know, can we do solar? And you can, and it, and it will be a, a lot less expensive than you think it is. Solar companies everywhere are working all kinds of beautiful deals, and you can work one for yourself, and you can help this planet in the bargain.